out of all the competitors I've competed against, especially the ones that you think you didn't think that I was going to beat, Leonard Scott, Sean Crawford, and walks Usain Bolt. What was that? What was that like? Well, I, I knew you had ran against Usain uh, in 2004 in the Olympics. Uh, he he uh, in five. And was in five world championship yeah, two hundred. Right, yeah, yeah, he 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 pulled up, and I mean, because he was running last, and everybody else was just dusting him. Uh, but when we got to uh, to Russia, uh, and we stayed in the same hotel, and we ate breakfast together and stuff like that, and we got to know them pretty well, you know. And uh, I didn't have any any animosity towards him because their son was supposed to be the fastest joker in the world. But I, I said to myself, my son measure up there too. So hey, you know, we can sit and we can talk and we can joke. You know, we were on some tours together, uh, the five sisters uh, and all around. We were, yeah, uh, we went on a couple of tours with 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 him and the group that we all came to. So a lot of people don't realize that when you went to a lot of these championships, especially now later on in my career, you were going on these tours, and it'll be other Jamaicans and and, and oh, yeah. people that you would be. Going well, on the with. Jamaican guys that I met in Daegu, oh, they took care of me. <laughs> <laughs> they It was five of them. They took care of me. You know, they were my red carpets. They made sure that I was fine and they would make sure that people would move out of my way and do whatever and whatever. We actually kept in touch a couple of years after that and ran into a couple of them in London. In London. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, so that they were good. They were really good. They they respect you. Right. They they spoke because what oh, happened yeah, is that we all got on the tour bus, and they were all sitting together talking. So I knew they were the Jamaicans, and I said to them, "I'm Justin Gatlin's mother, and I won't hear no shit." <laughs> <laughs> and Disclaimer off top. <laughs> right. <laughs> From right. then on, we were cool. <laughs> the only person they talked about was a Safa Powell. Okay. They, I mean, they, they, they talk bad about him. They own countrymen, but other than that, yeah. Oh, the Jamaicans and us, we were cool. You remember the cruise we went on? I do. And somebody spotted you at the back of the line, and they called us all up to jump the line, and they were Jamaicans mm-hmm. that were working the ship. Yeah. So they, they, Jamaicans love you. You know what? Jamaicans are some of the best fans in the world right in the world um because it's so diehard it's Mm -hmm. like part of their dna like they expect greatness from you and if you ain't giving if you're not giving what they know you can give then even if you're their countrymen they're gonna talk bad about you well they did that yeah they did 